watching. Today I have a little video. Like always. Who the fuck is calling? Sí, ¿qué pasó? No, ya tenemos, gracias. No, ya, ya estamos bien, gracias. They do not take no for an answer. He was trying to sell me a living room and a table and stuff like that. Not a living room, a uh, couch. Today, um, this video, pretty much I have a lot of, uh, it's interesting. So in this little clip, I will show this girl. I think we've talked about her before. Her name is Nancy. I think she has a little problem psychotically. I don't know if that's the right word. I think she has a little PTSD going on because she just cries out of nowhere sometimes. Sometimes she's happy. Sometimes, you know, it's just certain things trigger her too. And I always talk to her. I'm really nice to her. I like to say I'm nice to her, but um, um, she she's a little, I feel so bad for her to be honest. And sometimes I feel like I want to ask her questions like what goes on in her head, you know, like I don't, not, not necessarily that, that way, but I do want to like, and you can have a conversation with her. She's like, it's super weird to explain. So let me start from the beginning. First, supposedly she used to do drugs, hard drugs to say the least. And she, apparently there was a time where she was fine. Like she was normal, she was really pretty, she had really long hair, she would dress, you know, okay for her means, you know, what, whatever she, could get a hold her hands on, but she used to do drugs and she would hang out with these guys and just do these drugs and stuff. And then out of nowhere, uh, this is just hearsay, hearsay stuff because I never experienced it myself. I never see, seen it or anything, but what I've heard from people is that she would go with the guys and hang out with them and get high and whatnot. But then there was a time where she actually went missing for some a couple days. And when she came back, apparently she was like crazy and like just out of it. And supposedly these guys raped her, her brothers raped her and her mom is really old. And she, She's old, she can't see anymore. So back then she would always be with her mom, but now she's just always just there. Like she's just roaming the streets. If you talk to her, I always say, hi, Nancy, you know, like, oh, Nancy. And she's like, Monday, you know, like nothing. But then there's sometimes where I guess she's just not having a good day or I don't know what, but she really doesn't, answer you i guess she just kind of keeps doing her thing or whatever but yeah it's just really weird it's just she has her days you know and it's super sad and there's i didn't record this but there was this a few days ago she apparently after a while she like cut her hair so now it's really short like a guy and it looks like she just like scissored her hair you know like just chopped it off i think honestly what i think that happened is that she since she was raped, I feel like she's wants to not be attracted, attracted to guys. So she doesn't shower, she doesn't bathe herself, she cut her hair, she kind of has a really, you know, an odor. And I don't blame her. I don't think I would do that myself, but you know, some people react and you know, yeah react a different way than other people so it's understandable but what i feel like she just makes herself that the way she is just so that guys don't rape her again basically and i i can see that happening and i feel like that's why it happened but you know, you just never know. And I feel so bad for her. I wish that if she had outside family, you know, from here and like 
the United States. Like, I don't know how they don't have the heart to help her because her mom can't see, her brother's raped her. Like, you know, I'm sure she has uncles and aunts, you know, that can probably help her, but you know, whatever. She was outside of a little taco. Well, this lady sells tacos outside of my aunt's house or her store. And she just lays out there, you know, and a lot of people, she doesn't have money. So a lot of people like le invitan cosas. So she gets like free ice cream, free taco, just like a taco, you know, just not a lot, but you know, just enough to get her by. But this one time she was laying down on the grass and she had a blanket. Um, I don't know if I can record her face because I, I really am scared sometimes to like talk to her and interact with her because I'm not sure how she's going to react. Like it's scary, you know, it's a PTSD person, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure she has PTSD. Just the way she acts and the way she is just it. It's just like a person that has PTSD, you know, and I don't want her to uh, like attack me or something. So I kind of just keep my distance, you know, but I try to be nice to her just because I felt bad for her. And um, but yeah, that one time she was there, um, she got up after that clip and um, she got up, she went to go get a chicharron preparado and she set it on the floor and I'm on the blanket, like on the grass. And then she like, I don't even know what she was doing, like fixing her hair or her nail or something. I don't remember. And this freaking dog came and took a bite out of her chi uh, chicharron. I think it's called a chilindrina, a chilindrina. But um, she, the dog took a bite of it. Dude, she flipped shit. She like kicked this dog. I felt so bad. And she was like, she said to the dog, she was yelling at it. And she was all like, can't you see I fucking hate you? I've already told you this. And I don't know if it like triggered her or something, but she was just like talking to it. And she kicked it and like was punching it. And I was like, Oh my god, I felt so bad for the dog, but I felt bad for her. And then like the lady that sells the tacos was like, Nancy, don't eat that no more. Like the dog bit it and she doesn't know any better. So she just kept eating it. I was gonna offer her to buy her a new one, but she ran off. Like she, she ran off. Um, I don't even know where the fuck she went, but she ran off and then she came back and she was done with her chicharron and then she laid back again or sat down and then back where she was and then some ladies came to talk to her. I don't know if it was her family or what, but she ended up going with them. And then she just runs up and down, rub up and down. If I can record her a little bit more, I probably will without her seeing me just because I don't, like I said, I don't know how she's going to react. So I'll have to see. And this next clip, um, I went to go visit my grandma's grave. I don't want to cry, but me and my boyfriend um we went to go put some flowers on her grave and that was the first time i went to visit her it was very hard i'll be back um i put myself together but in these clips you can hear me crying i'm probably just gonna not put it in because i cried horribly <laughs> with my boyfriend just by my boy by myself and with my boyfriend and when my dad came when they recently had came well, a month ago um they went to go visit my grandma and they went to go leave her flowers and it was my dad and one of his sisters i didn't go with them because I just could not, I can't stand the fact, I can't even talk. I just can't stand the fact that my dad, I can't imagine, I can't imagine my dad just there. I can't see my dad cry because I did not think I was gonna cry making this, but for those of you who know my dad, like my grandma was everything to him. You know, it's pretty normal, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys' parents feel the same way about their moms, 
and dads, you know, but my dad had this special love with, towards my grandma. Like, my grandma was so funny. She's just, if you guys, if I had the chance to make videos with her, I think they would be freaking funny just record her out of nowhere random times because she was so funny like <laughs> she would just come up with the most funniest things to say and my dad like there's this times you know your family has ups and downs and stuff and my dad we would tell my dad how my grandma was and what she would do and stuff like that not to get any deep or anything anything too deep but um my dad <laughs> my grandma was a little angel to my dad like he did not care what she did what people said like he he always said he was gonna help her he sent my grandma money all the time and he had always said has always he had always said that he would help his mom as long as God let him and gave him the chance you know, until she was gone and, it, you know, he would talk to her every day. He would call her once or twice a day and it's just crazy where we are now because she really was. She really was like the glue to the family. <laughs> I guess we can say, but um, yeah, like I said, I did not want to cry, and I cry for everything to be honest, but, and if I'm going to be honest, I thought that once I went to go visit her grave, that I was going to not be so emotional talking about her anymore but it's really hard like when my grandpa passed away my mom's dad i went to go i didn't get to be here either for neither of them uh, when they passed away or anything um but for my grandpa like you know i cried whenever i found out he passed away whatever and then when i came to visit max when i came to mexico after he passed away i went to go visit his grave and after that it was like i needed to see his grave so i could just i guess have some peace within myself i'm not sure if i'm wording it right but yeah and with my grandma it's different like and I loved them both. I love them both equally. But I guess it's just the fact that I spent more time with my grandma than I did with my grandpa. Oh my gosh, I'm so emotional. But yeah, just <laughs> any talk of my grandma, any picture of my grandma or just anything, just editing this video, like looking at the footage I took and the video or whatever I recorded. It just gets to me. And I know this is gonna be a little weird, but sometimes I feel like she's here with me. And there's just certain things that make me feel that she's here with me. I'll insert that footage here. <laughs> Te estás espinando. No quiero espinar. Oh, babe. Ah. <laughs> ¿Sí lo entendiste por dónde? Mi amigo 
Allá se murió alguien. ¿A poco allá se le enterraron apenas? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ya hay cruz, ¿no? Pues es la café, la de madera. ¿Esta? Sí. ¿Y era esta negra? Esta lápida. Uh -huh. Mira, ahí hay unos girasoles. ¿Lo de corto? And then, um, I'm not sure what other footage I, else I have, so I can just explain it a little bit. And I think this is how I'm going to do my videos now. I'm just going to record and whatever footage I have, um, I will probably explain it a little bit. Um, um, if I don't talk in the video um, or if I fast forward it or whatever, you know, just so you guys know what the fuck I'm doing because it's honestly it, probably a little confusing. Probably only the people that know me and that are from here know what is going on. But, oh, I remembered. I have another footage of another clip of me and my boyfriend going to the Monte, which is literally like the fucking mountain all the way on the top. And um, the amigos, the narcs, the amigos, what, whatever you want to call them. Um, they actually, back then, I don't know if I posted it on anywhere, but back then, last year when I came, um, it was like a big piece of just land. It was dirt, rocks, trees. It was really ugly. It was just a plain big um, piece of land. And that's where I actually learned how to drive standard a little bit. I didn't really... I don't really know how to drive it a lot, a lot, because todavía se me apaga el carro and stuff, but um, I do know how to drive a little bit, but I wouldn't consider myself like a pro or anything. But um, yeah, they're, they fixed it really nice, and now it's like a soccer field. So a lot of people actually play there now, little kids. They have like different teams and age groups and stuff like that. And there's a little house that they sell food which I'm pretty sure they make really good money because it's like literally the only store up there. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys that little clip. Uh, it's really nice. And then, but the road, it, it's fucking shitty. And I'm pretty sure you guys will see that um, whenever I show you guys the clip. Okay. Ay, no, te vienes de reversa, en putiza. 
Te dejas caer. Acá vienen los amigos.
es tu destino. Es una confusión bien. Pero ¿quién lo compuso? Mira, ¿no? Ay. Swings. Y todos los que están aquí, pues son de aquí, o de otros pueblos. Oh. Well, give me some feedback, guys. And um, like I said, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe and hit the little bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.